Okay, good evening, seven o'clock or 20 to seven. I'm in the village of Vishovgrad. So yeah, by the way, what I'm thinking now is because uh, I mentioned the name of the village all the time, put the location of the village, but a lot of people who don't speak Bulgarian, of course, and most of you are not the speaking Bulgarian people, which I'm, I'm respectful to you, no worries at all. You don't need to speak Bulgarian to buy a property or live in Bulgaria. Uh, ask me, could you please spell the name of the village, whatever. So I can always show the sign of the village because they are written in Bulgarian and in English, which is much better, I think. It's a, just crossed my mind. So the town nearest one is again Pavlikeni. And now you're going to see a car is coming from Pavlikeni, which is exactly 10 minutes away from here. It's very, very close to the, to the town and Pavlikeni you know very well. And you can see that it's at the beginning of the village or you can say that it's at the end of the village, depend which way you come. If you come from Pavlikeni here, it's at the beginning of the village. So look at this surrounding areas. Yeah, it's, uh, I can say, the first or let's say the last Sohili village comes from the Drianovo area and Sevlievo area, which are this direction. By the way, not far away, maybe about 30 minutes away from Sevlievo. Yeah, and the same distance to Drianovo, so it's not far away, by the way. And Veliko Ternovo is 30 minutes as well. Down there is the square and you go to the to Veliko Ternovo, it's about 30 minutes. It's self as a location village is really nice and a lot of people prefer it because it's with a very well developed road and access. You can see that for road junction here leading to this house, to the one behind it and to this one. So obviously there's not a lot of houses and this is like a, I can say like a private, private road and private access. The property we're going to put on the market is this one which is not this one <laughs> but as what i can say is is start from here you can see this is the buildings and the back side of the barn and of the house of the neighbor and going straight away up there this house and the one with the bricks is the neighbor one so this direction that direction and that you know this is a square the size of the land is about 600 square meters, not big, but as you can see, you have two levels, even three levels of land. And I think you have enough space for sorting out the stuff like, even if you want to put a, uh, plants, you can put the plants over there. We're going to see it now. Let me show you the, this is the owner is a builder and he's, he built this house. He bought the house when it was, as we say in Bulgaria, on a rough on a rough building stage, just up to the roof, and that's it. So he plastered, put some insulation, did it inside, almost done, uh, and built a new fence. So you can see it's a brand new mensary wall, sorry, which is a stone one with a metal transparent fence above it, which is really nice work has been done. You can have a look and you can see I'm follow myself all the time because it's almost seven o'clock and it's it's the day the sun the sun the sun set almost it's still high anyway it's another two hours will be will be light a nice beautiful door then the same fence continue here you can see and here you can see where the fence is finished okay it's because from where the earth is going a higher level like a cake you can see like a pie it's all down next to the house was barn wasn't very good barn buildings but there was a building which is not small you can see and all this has been removed from the owner and he left at that stage because he was planning to extend the house or even build a brand new one like a one one floor one you know like an accommodation or for friends or for guests he didn't do this one because he got another baby now. I wish you health, my friend, to have a baby health and growing up properly. And uh, the house is two bedroom, by the way, which for him is small now. So that's why he put on the market and that's why he stopped investing it. You will see the house is almost done, which means, in my opinion, uh, it needs kitchen and furniture and that's it. And you can start to live. Look at this at the back, <coughs> at the back wall used to be here and used to be kept. Then some bricks has been put above, you can see. And this is 
another shed we're going to see at the back and I have some ideas of this shed so you can have a look and see how he sort out and taught about everything you can see the plastic proper drainage paper you know about this and this is the back which is a stone up to here and the bricks down there with a metal like a, it's 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 a metal metal roof and the house is mainly from here let me show you the house from the bottom to up there you can see is a is um stones and about like a half a meter bricks you can have a look and see and it's a concrete slope in which is the built built the roof okay which is really good so the house has between the ground floor and the second floor there is a concrete slope and then you got another concrete slope so the house he said is very strong and you can build another floor if you want that's why it's already there's a concrete slope which is not so to be honest not so thin you can see the thickness looks looks proper and i trust him because he's a builder for many years and uh, still on the still it and still is on look at this the fence from this side you can see all the steps going down up to where the, this tree is we're going inside as well to see it but i want you to see the finish of this and the roof here that's you know look at this yeah this is the roof of it and while i'm here i'm going to zoom the roof for you so you can see it's with the old tiles but a proper plaster of the rich tiles and all the tiles match and are stuck each other properly so no problem at all with the roof and you can see the thickness of the fence which is a stone proper stone mansory wall covered by this concrete color to be to be nice and good look at the view i'm on the fence <laughs> yeah let me let me go and show you this on the fence just to walk <clears throat> obviously the neighbor grass is overgrown nobody lives here there is a house i don't know what the story of this house is but it's overgrown anyway so this is the neighbor's tree by the way and you can have a look and see the fence everywhere so this is the plot and it's on three levels this is the third level where we are at the moment and this is where this shed is we're going to see the shed now is the second level and the third level is down where the gate is look at the house from this side let me go and make it better for you so i can zoom the roof properly look at the fence this way it's a bit strange me to walk down here but not a problem at all so like this one so the roof again has a concrete slope and it's built on it so nothing's wrong with it at all that's everything is very well the house ground floor is mainly stones and all after that is these bricks you know and the bricks down there as well are really strong bricks too okay uh, let me go now back on my way jump there and we go down there and see what we have under the shed then we see the level there and then we go into the house inside so about this shed by the way while i'm here or maybe maybe not maybe i'm going too close to the to the garden area now then i'm going to show you this because the connection between this one is not very difficult but let me show you when i go there let me now just jump again back Toop, 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 toop. then go oh, look at this lovely i like because of the location here it's a really nice location and you can have a look and see like a grass road is going over there there's a forest and fields and meadows this side the houses are this side look at this and now yes we can see the roof from here i'll zoom for you so you can see the rich tiles and everything which is very visible there really used to be idea here is being left for the chimney just in case because you're going to see inside there is a fireplace which can work as a fireplace but you can put a proper lock like a lock burner with uh, 
like a log burner with um, with back boiler and there's all the pipings connected to the ground to, to every rooms so you can have a proper heating system there you got the, the hole for the chimney even through the concrete slope as well which is really good then now back to the beauty of the of the nature so you can escape straight away if you want here we got this balcony you can see and this is the ground floor where the kitchen area is we're going to see inside so in my opinion so if you don't want to extend this and to use the footprint down up to there for the for the new building or for like even shed or workshop or accommodation all the pipes for the radiators and water and waste pipes are there you can see them and it's easy to connect and the septic tank is there so the guy said including in the price he are going to connect this for people no problem at all but he left it like this because his plan was this and he thinks it's better to leave it like this even it looks a bit of a rough building um, stage it's still good to be like uh, left, left like this because people can extend maybe up to there only not the whole distance but let's see it's up to them the septic tank is down here you can see this straight away look at that this is where the septic tank is proper expansion you know for the this so it's not a problem at all this is where the septic tank is the connection is not very difficult so you can build any buildings there and that's connected to to the septic tank which is big good dirty job has been done so you see the mensary from outside now here from inside the same it's actually 600 square meters of length is not big but you can see oh this is not small at all you can put a swimming pool there if you want next to the shed <coughs> perfect perfect and not visible you know just the road is there you know and you can build the wall there if you want and then the swimming pool will be hidden but will be sunshine sunshine all day so this is the second level this one is the third level which is not a big difference between the two levels by the way you can see yeah so in my opinion you still can separate this level like it is being marked separate with a simple fence and this could be the orchard you can put some tomatoes some potatoes whatever you want not so big but it's enough i think in my opinion and this one could be the swimming pool area with a beautiful with a beautiful beautiful shade you know this is a really nice area i like this area as a part of this one and separate from the one there the living one look at the shed <coughs> It's a good one, you got electric, you got water, running one with a proper uh, pressure and everything. So you can have your, uh, like a kitchen barbecue area with a beautiful view. And you can see the swimming pool if you want. And you can have a gazebo or tent here, perfect one. It's a metal construction with a thermal panels, it's called this one. Yeah, good. Keep the heat a bit away. And you have enough space to reorganize here, even to make it to a nice, in the winter, by the way, in the winter. So you got this is as a gutter, but you always can make a hole and put like a, like a stove here and connect it for the chimney. And you can close this one during the winter and just can enjoy here again, still. Even if you make the swimming pool a heat one, heating one, perfect. Or you can put here, if you remember the house we did, Lady Man Cave House, this could be half of this, could be over there, a jacuzzi. Perfect, you still have enough space here for the table, to people to enjoy, drink and eat, and relax and shout and whatever they want. Okay, clear now. And this one, don't forget, is a footprint of a barn, which can be done. And it's, if it's me, I'll extend, but I won't use a hole. I'll extend some like something like up to here, like uh, two bedrooms and a toilet and bathroom between them. That's it. So I can have my guests here just to relax. Beautiful one. Amazing. Then, now we go to see the third level. This is the third level. And look at it. 
you got a nice grass area which you know for me could be left like it is and just you can put some flowers over there and over there so you can hide the windows of the neighbors with the flowers beautiful you can make a green live fence there and all done you got the private you got the private 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 garden look at this let me let me go and show you up oh, so a few steps here and then we are here so i've been on there you can see the mensary of the wall which is amazing one a new one i like these black stones you know black stones look at that look at that good job really good job i know how i'm going to call now this place on the video look at that it's a really amazing yeah so this one like down there as we discuss we can put a live fence with the bushes forever green bushes we call them in bulgaria and then you can cover because the wall the wall between the this wall between the levels is wide enough you can see it's about 45 50 centimeters so you can put like he put this pottery a lot of pottery with flowers everywhere and it will be amazing nice lovely garden with some criddle in it you know yeah look at the house from here let's go and have a look the house from here and let's zoom the roof this side and finish with it again i'm saying don't forget that it's been built on a concrete slope which concrete slope means you can build a third floor with no problems and another concrete slope this level between the ground floor and the first floor or second floor how do you, you can call it how you want you can see it is very strong and you can plaster paint put a proper insulation he left it because now he's concentrating to build another house because he lives at the moment in the apartment but for the three children he has now he need to build a bigger house that's why he's selling this one pvc windows a proper proper double glazed one you can see from inside but you can see from outside to inside which is really really good what i like is he put a brand new aircon by the way what i like is you can see the level here you can see the level with a concrete slope between the level of this and level of that what i mean is there is a bedroom here but you always can make here a door to connect the bedroom with this shed because his idea was different he trying to make this because he has a dogs hunting dogs to live here you know this was his idea that's why we got all these metal doors and stuff what i can say is you can make this one to a living room nice living room downstairs is a good living room as well but what i can say is you can make this to a living room you know and the living room here could be very easy covered like close this and make an entrance here closed entrance so from downstairs you can come to this living room if you want to be your living room and you can have a door access from the living room to this bedroom you know which is really really good look at this place it's a nice and strong space a good size for me and it's good because you got all this light and you can make a patio door here and make it to a perfect living room you know for the summer even close there you know or you can make it this one to a nice build a door here connect this bedroom with this room and make it all in one beautiful living room okay and then then you're going to see what we have downstairs you know you can going to have to see what is done so with this one could be a beautiful living room including this bedroom just in case or make a living room close close the, like the roof to go like this roof to continue up to here you know then around the window and then here with a roof and you can close this and make it connection between the ground floor and the living room there but you'll see let's see the the living room downstairs i'm going to make one video here 
because the property is not too big. So we got these sliding doors, like comes from the entrance there. We got these sliding doors here. And we got this space, which is nice because you can use this like uh, some kind of a shoes, uh, shelves and, you know, stuff for outside stuff to put here. Then you got here the living room. Look at the living room. It's interesting shape, let's say. So it's going all the way here. And you can see here it's all electric stuff and waste pipes for the for the sinks for the water for the this so the kitchen to be this here and this one here is a toilet and bathroom but look at the size of this it's not bad size by the way it's really not bad size you can see there's a connection for the radiators piping everywhere then you have a seal then you have a proper nice uh, PVC windows and then we got this space which it's very easy to put a sofa bed there you got the proper aircon and then you can put some stuff like a sofa and tables under the stairs as well you got the fireplace and you got the television connection there the fireplace is the one you can put like a standard fire just to make a fire and enjoy or you can put it's wide enough so you can put here a proper stove and with a big boiler to connect it to the to the to all the pipes and to the radiators look at this once again let me show you the bathroom and toilet look at this nice tiles proper toilet really good quality of everything the shower, look at this, it's really nice, good size, yes, <coughs> look at that, yeah, so it's, it's really good, and a proper toilet, just in case to be sure that you can see it, me, this is my job, then we got back to the, to the living room, just need painting, new bead sockets, you know, and it's good because you can still paint them the color you want. Okay, look at from that point. Of view. Look at from that point of view. It is not bad at all. Yeah. Then we got a metal nice staircase with a beautiful carvery. Yes, and we got this. They're not very sharp. And we got the concrete slope here which we discuss. Then we got one bedroom and two bedrooms. So this bedroom, look at this here. Yeah. Okay. Then we got, this one needs of course, plastering and painting. The bedrooms are finished. They need just furniture. And if you want to put the radiators, you can put the radiators. Look at this room. The laminate is good, waterproof, like, between two and three days can stay under the water without nothing's happened. This is what I have been told. Hope I'm not telling you lies. Look at this, with a beautiful view above the, uh, straight to the garden. When we discuss the level, I discussed to open the door there, you know? So this could be part of the living room. Behind this wall is the shed. This could be part of the nice living room, you know? Or you can extend the living room up to up to here where the window is and make it toilet and bathroom here which will be toilet and bathroom for the bedroom and toilet and bathroom for the living room or you can just extend the living room up to here and this could be a size of a bedroom but in my opinion this one there is nice to be a living room and you can still keep this one put a door just keep it as it is the same size i have a connection between the living room and the bedroom it could be the master bedroom let's say for parents or whatever for the owners then you got this bedroom which is beautiful and nice as well and what i like here is the bright high ceilings plus the view and the balcony look at this so 
the house is a bit of a modern type apartment house. Modern type apartment house. Look at this. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So I can see the swimming pool there. I can see the jacuzzi here, there. Gazebo or gazebo here. Beautiful live fence, if you remember. And that beautiful scenery. Beautiful scenery. Yeah. Good. I think, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Lovely.